Hey everyone, Doug from Confology here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how Cart Flows works with Thrive Theme Builder. So if you haven't seen it yet, I recorded a video and released it uh, recently about Thrive Theme Builder's new compatibility and integrations with WooCommerce. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link to it in the description. You can also find my full write-up on Confology.com. Uh, but suffice it to say, Thrive Theme Builder now works entirely with WooCommerce. So to activate that, let's real quick jump over to the Thrive Theme Builder wizard. And on the very bottom of the setup wizard, you'll see a WooCommerce section and an activation button. You click on that, you click activate, you're good to go. It's going to download a bunch of templates for you. It's going to give you all the settings and features that you need, and you're set. You can check out my video for all of those features that I walk through. In this video, we're going to look at how to use Cart Flows, which is a sales funnel builder for WooCommerce, and how that works with Thrive Theme Builder. It's actually pretty seamless, and you can accomplish some really great checkout experiences for your users. So I have Cart Flows. I also have Cart Flows Pro installed. I use it for myself and many of my clients. It's a fantastic tool. You can get that at convology.com forward slash Cart Flows, link in the description. Uh, but once you've got Cart Flows installed, and you can use the free version for most of this, uh, you just go to the Cart Flows section here in WordPress, and here you'll find your flows. You're gonna, when you install this first, you're gonna be asked a couple questions. Uh, what page builder you use, choose other. Uh, we're gonna do everything in Thrive Architect and Thrive Theme Builder, so we don't need to worry about uh, anything else. Just choose other, and you'll be good to go. Um, but then jump to this step here, where you go to Cart Flows and Flows, and I built a test flow and let's take a look real quick at what I've put together here. So to go into this flow, you just click edit and by default you have your sales landing page, your checkout and your thank you. The sales landing page is the first step in the flow. This is typically where you're selling your product and to uh, edit this with Thrive Architect, you simply click on edit. And now we are in kind of like the, the back end of this component of the flow. And you'll see up here at the top, there's a back to edit flow button. So you can give this a name, you can call it whatever you want. I'm gonna leave it as sales landing page. Honestly, the most important part of this step is right here where it says next step link. You're gonna to wanna to copy that because that link right there is what's going to take you from the landing page to the checkout step of this flow. So let's copy that to our clipboard here. And if you've been using Thrive Architect, you're familiar with the Launch Thrive Architect button. So what we can do is simply click this button. And when we do so, we're gonna load into something that looks completely blank. Well, why? Well, it's because there are no real true default templates for Thrive Architect for cart flows. But that's fine because Thrive Architect comes with tons of amazing templates. So over here on the right hand side, we just click Change Template and now we have the complete Thrive library. How awesome is that? So you can go through all of the different landing pages. I recommend using a smart landing page. Let's look at, uh, let's look at BrightSmart. Let's choose that and let's find a quick sales page that we wanna use. Let's choose the BrightSmart sales page and let's just choose that template. And we're not gonna change anything else about this other than that button link that I showed you earlier. So once we've got our landing page exactly how we like it, Etc. 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 Let's say that we had a buy now button. I'm going to add that button down here at the bottom just for this demo. So let's take our button element, drop it anywhere on the page, and then on that page, we paste in that link. That's the link that we need in order to take us to our checkout page. So I'm going to hit save, assuming that I love my landing page, and I'm ready to go. And I'm going to hit preview. Now, when we scroll over to the bottom of that button we just created, and click on it to go to our checkout experience, we are taken to a beautiful checkout page. Now, I cheated. I built this before the video. I'm gonna walk you through how I created this awesome looking checkout page that is completely customizable. Make it look like whatever you want. One column, two column checkout, stuff on the top, stuff on the sides. Let's jump into how you can make a WooCommerce checkout experience just like this for all of your products and use the landing page like I showed you. So let's take a jump back here to our flows and let's back to edit flow. Now the page that I showed you that I cheated and built early was the checkout for the test product. Click on the edit pencil here and we're going to take a look at some of these settings on the checkout page. If you scroll down and on your website you might have to scroll further if you have more, more things installed but for me it was right below this main section. I have the checkout layout. So let's walk through these different uh, components. 
The short code again is one of the most important parts. You're going to want to copy that because that's what you have to put onto the page in order to render the checkout experience. Those fields they fill out, the buy button, payment settings, all of that. But then we also get to select a product. Now this is the product we're going to buy in this particular flow. So in this flow and in this example, I'm buying my test product. But you can add multiple products. You can um, apply coupons and you can do all sorts of things. So this could be a bundle, right? You could have five products in your store, add all five, and this flow will proceed to let the person purchase all five with one click. You also have product options that you can enable. Things like letting the user select one product from all options or restricting them to purchase all of them at once, right? Forcing the bundle I was talking about. Let them select multiple products from all the options, enabling variations, and so on. This gets pretty complicated, but it's robust. When you're doing something like I'm showing you, I don't use any of those settings. You also have the ability to add order bumps. I think this might be a pro feature, but order bumps essentially let you sell the person something and bump up their order so that they spend more with you. So this is a really cool feature. I use this for uh, a lot of my clients. I use it for myself when I'm selling things that I want to bump the person up to the next tier or to uh, purchase something. We also have a checkout offer, which is something that's like in the cart itself. Like if you're buying the, oh, I don't know if you're buying, uh, for example, uh, how about my example, right? Like a test iPad, right? So the order bump in the checkout offer would be, oh, do you want the care service that comes with this, Apple Care or whatever? And that would be, oh yeah, sure, I want that, check a box, and it gets added directly to the order for whatever price you set. That's also really cool. Then we have the ability to edit our checkout design. Usually the only thing I edit here is the checkout skin, whether I do one column or two. And then down here, if you scroll down, I like to change the background color and the border, border color of the button to match whatever the branding is of the page that I'm building. And then we have checkout fields. Typically, uh, I leave these on as default, but if I don't have coupons, I can enable the coupon, disable the coupon field. If I don't want additional fields, I can disable those. And I can choose whether or not to enable shipping to a different address. But if I'm using a digital product, I don't need to do that anyway. So I can hit update on that. Then we have some checkout settings. Uh, for example, what does the button say? And we have a couple other things like editing uh, the cart on checkout, enabling browser tab animations, right? So if someone switches tabs, it kind of alerts them, brings them back to it. And then we have the ability to execute custom scripts. So fairly robust tool here. So I'm going to hit update and I'm going to go to launch Thrive Architect to show you how I put together this page. All right, so as you can see, this is 100% normal for Thrive Architect. Anyone that's used Thrive Architect is going to feel completely familiar with this setup. When this loaded for me previously, it was a completely blank page. Let's go ahead and save our landing page so that we can bring it back. Save that template. And let's load a completely blank page to show you what it looked like when I started. It was even more blank than that. I actually had to come in here and choose this as I built it. But from here, we can add a block right, if we wanted to use any of the templates that come with the, the template for the page that we chose. Or we can start from scratch, and we can come here and add a background section, a text element. So if I just wanted a basic checkout, let me show you how easy that is. Drag the text in, paste it in. I usually like to center it. Hit Save Work, Preview. There it is. Just by pasting in that short code, we already have a really nice looking, completely functional checkout experience. Now, let's say I, instead of this, I wanted to use something a little, little bit more robust. I could come in and let's say I had already created another product. I could come to the cloud here, choose a saved landing page, click choose template. And with the click of a button, I have a beautiful checkout experience that I've crafted already that I can use across all of my products. And what's also really neat is that I could just come in here and let's say that this was a different product, right? Let's say it wasn't this test product. Let's say it was this one and I'll remove that. There you go. Ugly looking image because the background, but you get the point, right? I can come in here and instantly edit this text. Again, fully customizable, great looking checkout experience. So that's the gist of it. Now that Thrive Theme Builder is completely compatible with WooCommerce, we can use great tools like cart flows to make this experience work and be extremely robust. That's all I have to show you today about cart flows. There's a lot more to dig in and learn about. I'm going to do a couple more tutorials. 
Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment on the video or on convology.com. And I'm going to make this particular checkout template available to you as a download. The link for that is in the description as well as in the write-up at Convology. Have a great day and we'll see you in the next video.